What's up guys today's video is on the top 10 best floor standing speakers 2022 through extensive research and testing I've put together a list of options that'll meet we needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price performance or it's particular use we've got you covered for more information on the products. I've included links in the description box down below which are updated for the best prices. Like the video comment and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. 10th place. Fine Audio F501. Fine Audio already has a couple items on our list, so you won't be shocked if you're familiar with the brand. It's a big move to introduce a loudspeaker into the kind of competition that the F501 faces, but it's also clear that Fine Audio made the correct choice. In fact, the F501 won a Watt Hi-Fi Award in 2018, the company's inaugural year. The design is smooth, the construction quality is robust, and the timing is perfect. The clarity of their sound is completely believable, and while some system matching is required, keep that in mind and you'll be in for a lot of auditory fun. Ninth place, Q Acoustics 3050i. If your need for bass and huge sound outweighs your budget for new speakers, these might be the solution. For nearly a decade, Q Acoustics ruled the best sub-grand floor stander category. While Dolly's amazing Oberon 5 has surpassed the 3050i, these 2018 Watt Hi-Fi Award winners still have a lot to offer. They have a lot of intensity and scale, but they also have a lot of musicianship, warmth, and control. In fact, you may only need to listen to these speakers for a few minutes before deciding which finish would look best in your space. Extremely gifted. 8th place, ELAC Debut 2.0 F5.2 The ELAC Debut 2.0 F5.2 are excellent value for money. They're mature and smart, well-built, and uncomplicated in terms of posture. The primary drivers are stiffened using aramid fiber, resulting in a clear sound with lots of clarity and dynamic expressiveness. It is not a criticism to argue that some competitors provide a more complete presentation. In fact, some competitors can provide more in most cases. But the F5.2 aren't interested in providing more, they're interested in providing the music as it is delivered to them as transparently as possible. Their strength lies in detail and textural understanding. They can notice the body of an instrument as well as any quirks in the way it's performed, which makes for an interesting listen. ELAC has been making speakers since the 1980s and has produced numerous excellent items throughout that period. It's safe to argue that the new debut B5.2 speakers are among the best the firm has produced. They represent outstanding value for money. 7th place. Dali Oberon 5. For most of the last decade, the Q Acoustics 3050i was our go-to option for the finest floor stander under $1,000. See below. But not any longer. Dali has created a great alternative, one that is an even better purchase, with the Oberon 5. Although they are somewhat smaller than the 3050i, these speakers sound noticeably bigger and more exciting. Given a few days to settle in, they're a true delight for the ears, responsive, melodic, and, most importantly, entertaining. They have the dynamic nuance, rhythmic accuracy, and pure transparency to exploit small changes in songs and immerse the listener in the musical experience. They're also comprehensive, disclosing low-level instrumental threads with ease while also arranging that information in a prepared and organized manner. Furthermore, their size ensure that they will seem at home in most environments while never dominating visually. Fantastic performances at an enticing price. What is there not to like? Sixth place. Fine Audio F302i. The F302i is the successor of the award-winning F302, itself a great speaker. Fine Audio, however, was not satisfied with its performance and sought to enhance it with the F302i. The primary difference is that the current model has a titanium dome tweeter rather than a polyester dome tweeter, although the tweeter enclosure and crossover have also been improved. The F302i is still a two-way rear-ported design, and the speakers are still reasonably priced. They're adaptable in terms of equipment and posture as long as they're not crammed into a corner or pushed up against a wall. Tow in the speaker slightly to create a concentrated and solid stereo picture. The F302i delivers a crisp musical performance that is both direct and enjoyable. The tweeter is smoother and more polished than the previous generation, and the bass is well blended. There's also a lot of detail to appreciate. We definitely recommend giving them a listen if you're searching for inexpensive floor standards that sound amazing. Fifth place. Spender A7. Spender's excellent floor standards sound fantastic, look fantastic, and are small enough to fit into most houses. The top of the line A7 continues the company's penchant for mixing astounding clarity and nuance with tremendously pleasurable dynamics and rhythm. The degree of detail on display is astounding. Each musical thread and vocal eccentricity is exposed, musicians beware, there is nowhere to hide. 
the audio is clear and well organized, while yet having enough oomph to keep things interesting. The vocals are quite impressive. They also clock with pinpoint accuracy and are quite clear, never sounding clinical. They're still full of expressive melodies and undulating dynamics that'll have you shaking your head. They're not quite cheap, but if you're looking for a pair of high-quality floor standers, the beautiful A7 should be at the top of your list. Fourth place, Pro AC Response DT8. While not flawless, Pro AC's towers deliver one of the most musically unified performances we've heard at this price. They do an excellent job with instrumental texture and stereo image. While they are little in appearance, there is no disputing their capacity to deliver powerful bass lines. They have a lot of insight and attack, and their middle performance is impressive. Voices come through loud and clear, and there's a lot of transparency on display. Voices never blend into the musical background, resulting in a clear, unique performance. These speakers have it all, agility, power, and weight. Their appearance may be more polarizing, the odd design and usage of branding may not be to everyone's liking, but we genuinely enjoy these speakers. They have such a fun sound that we can't help but suggest them. They will impress if you use caution during system matching. Third place. Wharfdale Evo 4.4 The Wharfdale Evo 4.4 is so loaded with technology that we had to double-check the pricing. The air motion transformer tweeter is often found in much more costly speakers, however it is also present in this model. Not only do they have a wonderful piece of audio equipment, but they also have a dome mid-range and twin Kevlar base drivers, which put these floor standers distinct from the pack. It should come as no surprise that these rather large speakers provide a large-scale, authoritative sound. That's to be expected from speakers this large. They also provide transparency and softness, which contributes to a natural, easy-going presentation. Which you may not have anticipated. There's a genuine sense that these speakers are delving deep into the recording and presenting the material in an open and honest manner. They trace a note's whole envelope well, vividly delineating leading and trailing edges without sounding excessively carved. Rivals may sound more upfront and energetic as a result, but the Evo 4.4's more relaxed presentation is more natural and believable over time. It's the type of sound that appeals over time rather than just during a brief audition at a dealer. They're in it for the long haul, just like the greatest speakers. Second place. Triangle Borea BR-08. As this list shows, there is no shortage of great floor-standing speakers on the market, and the Triangle Borea BR-08 is another superb pair that provides something unique. The cabinets appear to be simple, but upon closer inspection, you'll notice that they're robust, well-made, and nicely finished. The plinths simply bolt into the bottom for added stability, however we'd love the included spikes to be a little sharper in order to penetrate through thick carpets. The BR-08 is a three-way design with two fiberglass cone base units supplemented by a front-firing reflex port and a 25mm silk dome tweeter. Because of its relatively high sensitivity, you should obtain decent volume levels from even low-powered amps, albeit their nominal 8-ohm impedance drops to a 3-ohm minimum, so check for compatibility. Give the triangles lots of breathing room, a good 40 50ths of a centimeter in all directions, and slant them in towards the listener to hear them at their best. We'd avoid bright-sounding electronics, but find the appropriate companions and you'll be blown away by how fun they sound. They exude vitality and dynamic power that few competitors can match. Definitely worth a tryout. First place. Wharfdale Diamond 12.3 Wharfdale's Diamond Series is a strong budget stand mounter bet, but the company has yet to produce a truly remarkable cost floor stander. Until now, that is. Because the Diamond 12.3 sounds even better than the legendary 12.1. And, given that the 12.1 are 5 star speakers, that's high praise. The 12.3 aren't large speakers at 98 cm height, but they benefit from having some breathing room. They benefit from some inward angling as well, but because of their vast sound dispersion, you don't have to be millimeter exact. They're smooth, even-handed, and extremely polished for the price. If you feed them a bad signal, they are adept at discovering flaws without yelling about them. They'll smooth out rough edges and tone down undesired aggressiveness without sounding like they're suffocating the music. If you want to pair your turntable with a floor stander without breaking the bank, this is the way to go. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I hope to see you all in the next video. See you later guys.